Alrighty, we are back with a wild and chaotic back and forth, where my high ranking opponent assumes he can put me in the dirt within the first round. Can Alexander Usyk overcome the overwhelming power of the Bronze Bomber? Let's find out. Enjoy. Alrighty. Okay, whoa there. Slow down, buddy. We can see him flexing the old nose candy jiggle. And you know that's quite common in this game. How many times you come across someone where you can tell off the bat they are high as a kite. It's either that or he's overly confident. He does have 101 wins. Okay, we need to be careful of that diagonal dodge. That will be a huge issue with Wilder since that dodge will multiply his power. He's open to the body. So we're gonna take advantage of that. Ooh, his hooks on the inside are like homing missiles and the outside, he caught me. Oh, we're back. We uh, shook off the days. Oh, he caught me again. We did it again. <laughs> he caught me again. He's dazed. Okay, let's slow down. What? Madness. And I think he's gesturing because he thinks I'm cheating. And to be honest, I'm not surprised because I've never seen anyone recover from that many dazes, including himself. All right, calm down, buddy. Stay in the fight. He is using up a lot of energy. Diagonal dodges, that's gonna be a big issue in the game. So the strategy is to break him down to the body because he's also very block heavy. And then once we break him down, we can aim up top. And let me offer you my take on body shots. There are plenty of exploits in the game, but slow body shots like this, thrown in combination, I do not recognize them as an exploit because you can block them. If you leave your midsection open, I'm gonna capitalize. I personally throw body shots to deter you from blocking your head. As you can see, that's all he does. There we go. We caught him because he does not block. <laughs> now he's blocking to the body. Wilder in this game actually has incredible defense. You can bear, oh, we got him again. We got him again, just on the outside. And as you can see, he's now blocking to the body. Now, hopefully he keeps that up because then he'll be vulnerable to the head. Alrighty, that was a great round. I feel like we're getting momentum now. Out the gate, he hits me with a power body shot and another one. So when we talk about exploits, that is a power body shot that can be thrown with very little deterrence. It's as fast as a jab. As you can see, look, he just walks straight in and throws it like a jab, but it's extremely powerful if he catches me on the right angle. Occasionally, you can punch through your opponent's block as well. So that is an exploit to me. You can see he's heavily relying on that diagonal dodge and the double hooks, and that's really having an effect on how I have to play. I cannot throw shots with momentum moving forward because he'll catch me with that. And the main issue is with that momentum, it will multiply his power. And we're talking about Deontay Wilder here, right? The bronze bomber. These are things you have to keep in mind when you watch my playthrough. Notice how I throw jabs moving backwards, for example. You really cannot take as many risks when people use these exploits. And it's an exploit because the diagonal dodge has no stamina deterrent at all, which is why, as you can see, he keeps on using it. I like to make that clear to the occasional people who complain about me using body shots, for example. You have to consider his exploits and the fact that he's consistently blocking up top. Context, you know? I target the body to open up opportunities to the head. It's that simple. Just like that, you see? Now I would say the majority of you understand this in my comment section, but I do get the odd few who say, ah, all you do is throw to the body. It's not as surface level as that. Pay attention to everything, the nuances, the footwork. See how wary I am of that diagonal dodge that I'm not plowing forward and falling for it. You see, he moves to his right, so I move to my right. And that's frustrating him, because I guarantee you, using the exploit's lovely body shot. Lovely, yeah boy. But yeah, I guarantee you, this guy usually takes out most of his opponents, utilizing the diagonal dodge. Great game so far, we're in round three. He did rock me early in round one, and I decided to go out on my shield, and it actually paid off. But as you might have just noticed, he is relentless with the diagonal dodge. Look at that, beautiful. The minute he throws a standard body shot, what do I do? I block it. And it was late notice, okay? Wilder is very rarely throwing jabs. Look, once again, diagonal dodge twice, combined with hooks, and he's getting frustrated that I am countering with body uppercuts. My body strikes are not very fast. They're slow and easy to block, just as I block his. I'm throwing them at this stage, waiting for him to block them so I can start opening up to the head, but he refuses. 
He keeps his guard up high and I am not going to waste my energy punching against the high guard. And there you go. He blocked low, so I went up high. Diagonal dodge. That's right, boy. That is how you utilize the diagonal dodge. You don't do it all the time. You wait for the perfect opportunity and you should only be able to use it sparingly. Got him again. And he bows down. You'll never see me take a knee, man. I'm not about that life. Let me know in the comment section if you're about that life. Yeah, he's pretty frustrated, isn't he? And he should be because let's face it, I used the mechanic which he hasn't stopped using since round two, the diagonal dodge. And he continues to use it because he doesn't know how to utilize the jab. Now note how I'm able to now catch him with the jab, not only down low, but also up high. We're able to mix it up because now he's mixing up where he blocks. You see, he is blocking to the body because he has no choice. You use body shots to give you more opportunities. Excellent round. We are up on the scorecard and he's frustrated. Let's uh, strike the pose. That's right, boy. Let's not go in for the kill. Let's continue to meticulously break him down. Now we should have more scope to attack upstairs. Right, so look again when he throws that power cross and again, two in a row, okay? That is an exploit, three in a row. That's an exploit because he maintains his speed and power with every shot and it really doesn't have much of a stamina deterrence. Now, in some cases, I'm able to evade the body power cross and that's because I mainly stay just outside of the pocket. The problem is when you're in the pocket, like there, you see I'm throwing first. Lovely, go for the kill. Nice try, boy. <laughs> he tried to bow. I didn't realize you could catch someone whilst they're trying to bow down. That's amazing. And uh, pretty embarrassing. Let's just do the diagonal dodge just to let him know, hey, we can do that too. I can play that game, yeah? Nice little uppercut to the head there. Wilder is definitely placing more emphasis on my body as of late. But as I've said before, it's not really an issue because... I mean, that's an issue, the extended body uppercut, because it's not grounded to reality. But typically, if he's in close, it's an easy tell that he's gonna throw a body shot and it's not that hard to block. Wow, and he throws a nice little karate punch to my stomach. <laughs> it's always interesting to me when I see guys like this with over 100 wins, when they're facing an opponent who can read the common exploits that they make, they tend to shut down. If you pay attention to his actions, he keeps resorting to what he's used to, but he's not having success. So when he's not doing that, he often stands still. If I were to give this player, Scully Lowe, some advice, block to the body, use your range, faint with your feet, and when you throw the jab, time it. Don't just throw on the outside. Don't use the jab as a feint because it uses up your energy and it counts as a missed shot. Beautiful, look at him, he's throwing wild shots. He is mentally done. Woo! Oh, he's out. It's a KO. <laughs> we stiffened him. We sent him to the Shadow Realm. And I don't think he's making this count, to be honest. The Body Shot King. Yes, good man. It's best. You do not fight back. Claimer gets the KO once again. As you can see, we dominated every single round. However, I am fully aware that this will be deemed as a controversial fight because of the amount of body shots that I landed. I personally have no issue with it since you can clearly see I was more accurate and landed more jabs. But anywho, let me know in the comment sections what you think. If there's any lesson to be learned from this fight, when you get rocked early, don't be afraid to fight back. Especially if you know it's likely you're gonna get KO'd, you might as well go out on your shield and in this case, it actually paid off. And by the end, we got the victory. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment sections what you thought of the match. Have a great weekend. Take care. Peace.